In this video, I figure out that IKEA stores are actually backrooms levels, and that there's an entire backrooms level dedicated to Nick Cage. And apparently, Godzilla lives in the backrooms and has his own level. All of this in this brand new episode of the joke backrooms level series. The series where I go over your funny, goofy, lame backrooms joke levels that you submit over on the Discord server. Link below. Sit back, relax, and get ready to hear some funny ah uh, backrooms levels. Let's get it. Most everyone in the Backrooms community has heard the saying that IKEA stores in real life are Backrooms levels. Which they might be onto something because this first submission for the video comes from a user named Blackbot and their level is called the IKEA or level 3008. This level is classified as a class unsafe and is secure but not much, apparently. It's infested with entities also. The description goes like this. Pretty much the level is an exact copy of an IKEA store from real life, except it's infinite. And there's literally every piece of furniture imaginable. But in this IKEA store, there's actually a bunch of restaurants inside of the store where you can eat wherever you want to, whenever you want to. And all the foods refresh with, quote, magic every night. The day-night cycle here is actually shown through the lights in the ceiling rather than lights from outside, which is neat. And there aren't even any maps of this entire level, so you kind of just wander around the entire time. And as far as entities go, well, there's one single type here, and they're called 3008-2. Pretty much, they're literally just skinny humanoids made out of entirely just skin. Like, their entire body is straight skin. No bones, no muscles, no ligaments, nothing. Just paper-thin skin. Kind of like Flat Stanley. They're pretty passive during the day, but at nighttime, they're ravenous. They go crazy, and they try to attack anyone they see. And if they do attack you, you'll hear them say things like, The store is now closed, or Please exit the building. Wacky. There's actually a bunch of people that live here, not surprisingly, and there's actually a few concentrated towns that were made using walls of mattresses and tables and beds and stuff like that. And at nighttime, everyone in those towns goes up to the wall and prepares for the skin men <laughs> and prepares for Entity 3008-2 to attack, since they attack every night. To enter this level, you can go through any IKEA door in real life and have a chance of being sent here, but especially if you're emotional when you walk through that door. And to exit, you just gotta be really lucky because there's no exit. It just changes randomly. But Blackbot didn't give us any clues on any exits, so all they said is if you find one, consider yourself lucky. Thanks for the info, Blackbot. And the last thing Blackbot says is shout out people who knew this. Not sure what that means, but it's pretty cool, I guess. The next level in today's lovely, lovely video comes from Alito One and is called Level Godzilla Flying Dropkick. Oh boy. This level has a survival difficulty of funny and is a bad comedy, crappy, and there's a two kaiju to one robot ratio for entities. Nice to know, I guess. The level is described by Elita One as, quote, It was a funny bruh moment, for Godzilla just did a flying dropkick to beat up a Megalon, which apparently is this thing. Yeah, I didn't know that either. But that is the entire description of the level. Like, that's, that's all. The only entrance to this level is by going to a theater in real life and watching an old Godzilla movie, and the only way to exit is to, quote, run out of here. You know what, yeah, I'll, re I'll make sure to remember that when I'm being chased by Godzilla flying towards me feet first. I can't believe I just read that entire entry, bro. Next up is an entry from Shadow Knight 620 called The Cage Rooms. This is a very dangerous level and is classified as a class 4 survival difficulty. The description of the level says it looks like a typical house, but it has pictures and cutouts of Nicolas Cage faces on everything. Everything. And Nicolas Cage himself is also an entity here. And 
you're going to need to quote, run from Nicolas Cage, he will find you. And that's it. That's all they wrote. That's the entire entry. Cool. To enter the level, you got to hold a picture of Nicolas Cage on level 69. <laughs> and to exit, you got to give Nicolas Cage a picture of himself and he'll send you back to level zero. There's also a meg base here called Outpost Cage. Pretty nice. Next is an entry from Cool Kid Balls called 19 Eyed Brugs. This description says, do not be afraid. He has come. Do not resist. And that's it. Like that's the entire text box. Honestly, I'd be pretty scared too if I randomly glitched into the back rooms while walking to my nearest gas station and the first thing I saw was this. I mean, that's terrifying, right? <laughs> Lastly for this video is an entry from Mr. Tide Pod called Level Mug. And it's a class 3 mug difficulty. Quote, mug, mug, mug. <laughs> the level is described as a room full of mug cans. And to enter this room of mug, all you have to do is, quote, love mug for life, end quote. That's pretty easy, right? To exit, you just have to, quote, stop loving mug for life, end quote. I don't know, it's gonna be pretty hard. The only entity here is the mug dog, which is always watching you from the cans. So if you like mug, if you like root beer, if you like the back rooms, this is the spot for you, man. Also, I think I'm gonna slap an honorable mention here at the end of the video called the lean rooms. Yeah, you heard that right. The lean rooms, which is literally just the pool rooms, but with purple water. Okay, that's it. So yeah, that was it for this installment of the Joke Level series. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a decent chuckle from it. If you at least exhaled from your nose at a semi-fast pace. Make sure to drop a like in the video and tell me which level was your favorite. If you want to help me get to 500,000 subscribers so I can buy the backrooms pants, then drop a sub. While you're down there, check out the description for other stuff you might want, like the Twitter link, the Discord link, the link to my second channel, Too Glee, which has got some goofy uh, content over there from me. It's fun. You should check it out. If you're still watching this video, comment, Brugly is watching. And I'm going to heart your comment because you are a real one, my friend. You are a real one. We're also getting extremely close to May, which means we're close to the Brugly Summer Spectacular, where I'm going to be uploading over 40 videos in two months, over Backrooms levels 13 through 50, and some other stuff sprinkled in between. 40 plus videos in two months, guys. Come on, get hype. Seriously, this is going to be the biggest summer ever. I hope you're ready. We're going crazy this summer. The Brugly channel is about to go insane, let me tell you. Hope you're ready. Turn those on, because it's going to be awesome. Thank you for watching and supporting me. I love you all, and I'll see you later. Peace.